Welcome to Growing People. I'm John Losey. So I want to tell a story about a, a job I used to have. I used to run a challenge course and those high ropes courses that are up in the trees and people are 40 to 60 feet up in the air, walking on cables and safely hooked in, but definitely outside their comfort zone. So uh, as I got a chance to do this, this job for many years, I uh, saw people definitely frozen in fear. And oftentimes their friends down on the ground are yelling up. They're, they're up there. You can see they've got white knuckles holding on to some cable or rope uh, for their dear life. And the advice they're being given is just let go or just take another step. And here's the thing. <clears throat> they're being asked to do something they can't do. Now, in most normal circumstances, yes, we can let go. We can take a step. But they're frozen. And they're frozen in fear. They're frozen outside their comfort zone in a huge challenge. And what I learned is that it's not very helpful to ask people to do things they can't do. So oftentimes I'd be up in the tree and we wouldn't want to just call it a rescue. We want them to be successful. In fact, the biggest lessons are moving through that fear, moving through that barrier so that they can become functional again. And so we're up there, I'm looking in their eyes and their eyes are just huge, um, pupils dilated, white knuckles, shallow breathing, um, almost to the point of, of uh, hyperventilating. And first thing that I often would ask them is, okay, can you take a deep breath? And if they can do that, that helps them center, but sometimes they're beyond that and they can't even take a deep breath. And I just would keep on asking them to do things. Um, can you reach out? Can you hold on? And sometimes they're just, their grip is frozen. And ultimately, I try and find the one thing that they can do that they still have control over. Sometimes that first step is, can you look at me? Look me in the eyes. When they find that they do have control of something, they look up. And then I can ask them to do things like, all right, you're looking at me. I want you to take one deep breath. As they take that deep breath, they get their breathing under control. And then they get their hands under control. And then oftentimes they're able to take that step and, and step out. Now, the way this relates to developing people is we've got to ask people to figure out what they have control over and what they don't. What can they change in this moment versus asking them to do things that may seem easy and normal to a lot of people, but in their case and in their moment, they can't do it yet. The, the job of a good teacher, the job of a good coach, the job of a good boss is to take the time to figure out what can this person do and ask them to do that. The idea is once they figure out what they can control and they start doing that, more things will become under their control. More and more and more. And, and ultimately, they'll be able to expand their ability to make choices and to control the things that are around them. It does make a lot of sense to ask people to do things that they can't do in that moment. And the best leaders, the best teachers, the best coaches are the ones that can figure out what they can do, what their next best step is. Not what the final step is, but what the next step is. And sometimes it's just, can you look at me? So you just listened to this episode of Growing People, and I'm very interested in your thoughts and insights and stories about this topic. So please uh, leave a comment, um, put in there how you've seen this happen or, or maybe where I'm wrong. The only way we're going to continue to grow is if we grow from each other's input and insight. So please leave a comment. And if you like what you heard, please share. Uh, post it on Facebook or LinkedIn or your uh, preferred social media. And let other people see this and comment. And let's uh, build this community of people seeking to grow each other.